Hey everyone, Les here, do-it-yourself wedding market. Lee and I came up with these files. We're looking at an example of the four foot A to Z. Maybe you just bought it. I wanna really quickly show you where some of the stuff is so you know what's going on. So if you have like a Cricut machine, you might want to use these SVG files. So if you're familiar, if, if you have a Cricut machine of some sort, um, you'll know what SVG files are and those will be useful for, for you. These are really cool, these mosaic files. We're actually just adding them this week. We finished the A to Z and we're gonna disperse them into individual letters. So they're not in the description yet, that's kind of like a bonus we just added there for now. And essentially, these are really cool. Uh, you can essentially just print these off. And you see you can print off all these pieces of paper, just regular pieces of paper, and you'll stitch these together according to this diagram. And then you can cut this shape out, put it on your building material, trace it out, okay, trace it out. And then you can use a jigsaw or you can use um, maybe an X-Acto knife if you decide to do this out of foam. So those are mosaic files. And to some of you, those will probably be super useful. Let's go back here. There's also the backing DXF file. So if you're going to like a shop and you want the shop to make these plans for you, then this is most likely what they're gonna want. They're gonna want these backing DXF files. And Adobe Illustrator file. So another way you can do this too is go to like a printer shop, have them blow up these letters to scale on like poster paper of some sort. And then you'll get that you might wanna cut it out or cut it out, and then you put it again on your building material and then you can cut that out. Now, these all make the, the backing file essentially. In order to get the edges made, well, you really want to go into this complete alphabet package. All these files will also be here in their associated letter folders. Let's just go to W for example. You also get the Adobe Illustrator, the backing files. Uh, machining source files. If you can't open it, don't stress about it um, because most likely it's for software that doesn't really apply for you. Different people are gonna have different ways of making this, different machines, different software, and some of these files are basically for those unique specialized uh, software. For example, step files, like if you have AutoCAD or something like that, might be useful, but if you don't, then it's not useful. Um, but this is a really good, this is kind of the main file, the WPD and let's check it out as you can see and I mean here is like literally the full sneak peek on this you can see kind of a full breakdown and then it goes into the actual angles of each of the edge pieces which is going to be important whether you're making this out of plastic wood or MDF and the exact lengths so this is going to be kind of your main thing if you're making this purely by hand this is also what you need you can see all the dimensions the angles and we also have a file that really focuses on the backing piece here. And you can see, um, maybe it's fuzzy right now, but you can see that, um, you know, it shows the angles, uh, the, the dimensions, and you can kind of use that to figure it out. But again, if you're making this backing piece, feel free to use the Adobe Illustrator files, the DXFs, the SVGs, whatever else here that might suits you, suit you. Uh, and in order to download these, again, just right click on any of these files and you can just select download. So hopefully that was helpful, helpful to you. If you've purchased these, we really appreciate that. I, I, Lee and I very much thank you. Um, that really helps our, um, our business grow and hopefully they're useful to you. If you have any questions, just message us. Uh, make sure you kind of explore things first because sometimes uh, the questions might be um, kind of in front of, the answers to your questions might be kind of right in front of your nose. So I, I do suggest kind of explore, check things out, um, and also there's a lot of people making these letters on various YouTube videos. We have a video. We're going to link it down in the description. Check it out. We made the letters L-O-V-E and kind of filmed the process. That might be very helpful for you. But there's people that on YouTube also making it out of foam and all sorts of different ways using projectors. And certainly some of these files are going to be useful to you depending on kind of what route you go to. Mosaic 
is very popular. SVG, sometimes you just want the backing, not the edging. If you're making it out of the foam, for example, the, the actual joints on the edges, they don't actually have to be cut exactly. So you can just take kind of the general length and, and, and cut it out of foam and glue it in. So there's all sorts of stuff. Don't forget to check out our construction guide, which is also included. And that kind of focuses if you're making it out of wood or MDF or even plastic or something like that. So uh, hopefully that was helpful. Guys, thanks again. Take it easy and we'll see you later.